welcome to the Christian Blogger Podcast, and I'm your Christian blogger from somewhere deep inside the Pacific Northwest. Well, I decided to turn the video on. I am in Redmond, and I was saying in my last video how much I love Redmond. I just have a nice feel feeling when I come here. I've passed some of my favorite places already. I decided to just pull over and get some on video, whether you enjoy it or not. Um, I will have the memory, <laughs> the video recorded. Uh, yeah, Redmond, it's, it's across Lake Washington from Seattle. It's on the east side, we call it, um, east side of Lake Washington. And it's just a beautiful little city. Um, I lived and worked in Redmond for a little while. It's the bicycle capital of the world, I guess. I don't know. Um, I was looking at little scooters that you could rent out and, and they're left on the side of the street. I guess you feed quarters in there and then they just, they're electric scooters and they take you around. Let me see if I can find any. I just saw a whole bunch. Um, so now that I've got the video on, um, let me go back to areas that I've traveled a lot. I think the library is down there. There is the good old Metro bus, or though that's community um, transit. That's the blue turquoise bus. Uh, the green ones are uh, Metro, Seattle Metro buses. I actually learned how to drive those driving school when I was hired to be a bus driver for Seattle but I eventually got out of it um, I think God was teaching me uh, it was starting to get dangerous times and uh, one of the things oh let's go by the park okay one of the things about that job was they only guaranteed 12 hours a week of employment. This is downtown Redmond, their beautiful park. It's really cool at night. It's got the stage lit up with these beautiful colors, colored lights that are very cool. Um, I'm just gonna go straight up here. I used to go up here a lot and get uh, broccoli cheese soup from Whole Foods Market, one of my favorite places and memories to go from some time ago but so they only guaranteed you 12 hours a month once you were hired if you wanted to pick up another bus route you had to be trained ride the bus get tested whatever for that route and then show up every day uh, for that bus and see if the driver would show up. If they didn't show up, and if you were first in line, you would be assigned to take on that route. But there was no promise of getting hired full time um, in the near future. Somebody had gotten hired um, after being part time for a year. There weren't a lot of full time slots to drive buses, and that's why I dropped out of the program. Um, I had to have more than 12 hours a week and the problem too, you can't go and get another part-time job because your schedule, the route might change every three months and then you're working a different time and then how do you organize that with a part-time employer um, and change your, your time around. It was just a handful, it was too much to figure out and that's why I dropped out. But later it became clear that with the uh, riots and the so-called peaceful protests, it just wasn't safe. And I would not want to be in a bus and be surrounded by screaming protesters. Um, I would feel threatened of people getting on the bus, maybe violence breaking out. I just didn't want to be trapped in a bus um, with that kind of stuff that potentially could happen, that was happening. Um, like in downtown Seattle so it felt like a very dangerous job um, so that's how that went I'm just finding my way now that I don't work in counseling and there are reasons for that I've written about on my blog at christianview.blog um, 
becoming a Christian kind of opened my eyes to problems in that field and um, things I would have to support as a counselor and becoming a licensed therapist in the state of Washington. I would have to support a lot of things I don't believe as a Christian and support clients um, in lifestyles and goals that I don't agree with. And I also have been a chemical dependency counselor and I don't support uh, drug treatments that I've been learning about. And so I can't be in that field promoting treatments that I don't believe in and I don't agree with. I think there's just so much awful stuff coming out that is not really healthy and is changing in society as the culture changes and we have a lot of bad influences on the culture is you know, my view. So I don't want to promote um, unhealthy lifestyles and things that go against the Bible and things I don't believe in, um, you know. So I just kind of, over several years of becoming a believer in Jesus Christ, have let go of that. It's been kind of hard. My whole um, identity has been around being a mental health clinician. Um, you know, I was working on my doctorate degree and I've got a lot of money sunk into that education that is not benefiting me that I'll never be able to pay off. You know, um, I'm so uh, burdened with debt. It's been like a ball and chain. I, I don't have any credit extended to me. Uh, can't get a basic, you know, even credit card. Um, just, yeah, talk about wanting to... Um, buy a house or anything like that, if I ever did, again, I would never want to do that. I mean, just not gonna, just not gonna happen. Um, you know, if you don't have credit extended to you and you owe so much in student debt, you're just trapped, trapped in it. So, um, I'm gonna turn this off for now. I'm at Whole Foods. This has been the Christian Blogger from somewhere deep inside the Pacific Northwest. Until next time, God bless.